I love the motion of sea cloud under sail. She just, she's just sort of part of the sea, uh, and it's a, it's a very unique feeling. You can't get it anywhere else. She just comes alive when she's sailing. The Lesser Antilles are just absolutely made for square riggers. Places like Dominica, uh, Saint Lucia. Bacria, the Grenadines, those are places that many of them large ships can't get into. Uh, the anchorages are perfect for, for sea cloud. You have a different culture, really, in each one of those islands. Those islands are just absolutely made for sea cloud. There's some islands in there, and we stopped at one for lunch. It was wonderful. We came in. We could swim. There wasn't a soul around except those of us from, from the Sea Cloud. The Sea Cloud was built as the largest private sailing ship ever built. It was built uh, by E.F. Hutton and Marjorie Merriweather Post. She's extremely luxurious. I mean, the cabins are extremely well appointed. Beautiful spaces for, for dining. The food is absolutely superb on this ship. So there is nothing sacrificed by having this traditional relationship to sailing. This is the height of luxury, uh, and the height of luxury these days in many ways arguably could be the, your ability to get away from it all. It's one of our favorite trips, and I think if you ask anybody uh, that works on Sea Cloud, uh, we're so excited to take the ship uh, back to the Windward Islands. Great swimming, great nature. People don't think of the Caribbean as being as culturally rich and interesting as it is. And every island you go to is different. Uh, some of them are independent nations. It's a part of the Caribbean that a lot of people don't know still exists. But the best part for Sea Cloud is that you've got the trade winds, you know, steady, 15, 10 to 20 knot uh, winds from the northeast. Know that we're gonna do a lot of sailing, and that's great fun. Sailing ships, tall ships, are such an integral part of the history of the Caribbean. The islands are filled with uh, forts and cannons and stories of pirates and rum and, you know, yo-ho-ho on -ho a bottle of rum really fits the spirit of the Caribbean. Sailing on a tall ship like this, never mind the elegance of Sea Cloud, I think it's something that people don't even think exists in the 21st century, that you can have this uh, feel the romance of tall ship sailing. I believe that you know every ship has a personality. Uh, this ship has a soul. The soul was instilled in it in the 1930s. When I come on board, uh, when the captain comes on board, you feel that you're part of something really special. I think that comes out in an intangible way. Talk to anybody, talk to anyone who's on board, and uh, they feel it. It's a very unique experience, uh, and I urge anybody who gets the opportunity to do it, I guarantee you it will be one of the high places in your life's memory bank. <laughs>